Experts warn that the country could be on the brink of a child care cliff in about a month. Uh, that's because pandemic era funding is set to expire. One think tank estimates more than 70,000 Minnesota children could lose child care as a result. Thousands of programs could close their doors as well. Our Caroline Cummings explains. Okay, now you listen to someone's heart. <laughs> Child care in many ways is the backbone of the economy. Americans with children can't go to work if there's no one to watch their kids. But it's an industry that's been on the brink. It's in crisis. Julie Tash, president and CEO of the Center for Rural Policy and Development, says her organization was sounding the alarm seven years ago. But the pandemic shone a bright light on the big problems. You're not able to grow or even sustain your local community if you do not have appropriate child care offerings. But rural and urban communities both benefited from lifelines in COVID relief money. The American Rescue Plan included child care stabilization grants to keep providers from going under, and experts say they worked. According to the Minnesota Department of Human Services, 96% of child care providers receiving them said the grants helped their child care program stay open. This is just an industry that struggles to go keep uh, afloat without a little bit of lift. Those federal grants expire September 30th with alarm bells ringing of a looming cliff with devastating consequences nationwide. But Chad Dunkley, the president of the Minnesota Child Care Association, says in Minnesota, it may not be as steep. State lawmakers approved a similar grant program of their own. Before the pandemic, we were in crisis and there was far less child care available to families than what families need. And so we have a long way to go, but I'm hopeful that what we're doing in Minnesota will prevent the, the biggest catastrophe that we will see in other states. Caroline Cummings, WCCO News. The Minnesota legislature invested $750 million in child care and early education programs. That includes scholarships for low-income families and state grants to help sustain the industry.